In this video today, I'm gonna to walk you through all of my Serato DJ Pro crates. In the previous video, I went through my opening mixes, opening jungle, UK funky, and garage crates. If you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna leave it linked in the description down below. Make sure you go watch that before you watch this video. In this video today, I'm gonna to walk through my warm up and main set crate. I use this crate every single DJ set, so it's one of my most important crates. So if we head over to Serato DJ Pro and we open up the warm and main DJ crate. If I open this up, so if I open up original, this is my original warm up and main set crate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close all these and you can see inside here, I've got both warm up and main set. So if I go into warm up, I have a bunch of crates in here. So let's start at the top. So if we go into Lady Sing Along, every single track in here, the girls can sing along to. I'm still building it at this time because it's a brand new crate. But have you ever been in a club and you've started playing a song and all the girls are singing? You want to kind of carry that on. And normally for me, when I'm scrolling through my crates, I can't find the tracks that I want. So I've created this Lady Sing Along crate where I can jump into here and we can play tracks like Dilemma, Umbrella, Irreplaceable, When I See You, Be Your Girl, No Scrubs, etc. I can sit in this crate for about five to 10 minutes and then all the girls are gonna be singing their hearts out. This is just a good crate to have and I just decided to build it after I was in a club set one time and I wanted to make sure the girls were enjoying themselves. Coming over to warm up remixes, in the previous video I went through my remix folder and I explained to you that I split up my remixes by opening remixes, warm up remixes and ladies remixes. In this folder here, I've got all my warm up remixes. So everything in here, I'm able to play during warm up. So I've got like What's Love mashed up with Baby Boy, What's Love mashed up with Go Crazy, etc. All these tracks in here will work in a warm up set. They won't necessarily work in a main set. I don't really play too many mashups in a main set, but this is just a good crate to have so I can play some of these remixes during my warm up. If I come down to here, very commercial dancehall. So obviously, dancehall, you sometimes need to have a specific crowd for that, but there are dancehall tracks that everyone loves. And what I found is when I'm in a commercial venue, I struggle to scroll through my dancehall folder and look for the ones that the commercial people will like. So what I've done is I've built a commercial dancehall crate. If we go into here and let's have a look at some of the tracks. Who Am I Beanie Man, Heads High, No Games and Dude. All these tracks here, everyone should know, especially a track like No Games. So what I've done, if we scroll over to the comment section, in here I've got a hashtag called Very Commercial Dancehall. If I go into the rules of this crate here and go to edit, this smart crate has comment contains very commercial dancehall. So in here, I have all the commercial dancehall tracks that I need. So when I'm in a commercial venue, I can scroll through here and all these tracks in here, everyone in the building should like. You got tracks like Hold You, Toast, Freak of the Week, Mashups, Get Busy, Sean Paul. All the Sean Paul tracks are definitely gonna go into this crate. So if you've ever been in a commercial venue and you wanna play some dancehall, why not create a very commercial dancehall playlist like I have to help you out? Then if we work down, let me go into this one first. So ladies remixes, I touched on that earlier so it's just basically all the ladies remixes um, that I have in my crates. So if I scroll over to the right, you can see my hashtag here, ladies remixes. And then inside the smart crate, I've got comment contains ladies remixes. Under ladies, I've just got a crate just for the ladies. So every single track in here is gonna be like your Destiny's Child, Mariah Carey, Beyonce. So if I scroll down here, I've got quite a few ladies tracks in here. So if I open this up and just have a look, I've got 515 tracks that all the girls are gonna like. This is just a good crate to have. Obviously, like I said in the previous video, the way the night kind of works is based on the girls. You want to make sure that all the girls are dancing because once all the girls are on the dance floor, everyone else will follow. It's good to have a crate for just the ladies. It's all well and good having all your music in one big folder, but sometimes you want to draw for songs just for specific scenarios. This is a specific scenario where you want to get all the girls on the dance floor. You can jump into this crate here and you can just choose any track from in here and I guarantee the girls are gonna love it. So the way this smart crate is built up, if I go into edit, comment contains ladies club. So if I scroll over to comment, all these tracks in here have the hashtag ladies club. So whenever I get a brand new track into my library and I feel like it's gonna be good for the ladies, I'll make sure I put this hashtag in here. This is just a good way to organize your music. I don't know if you guys use hashtags in your comments, but if you don't, you should start using them now. So if I go into R&B hip hop warm up, I play in a bunch of different venues. I can play in a very commercial venue. I can play in a very hip hop focused venue, I can play in a dancehall venue, etc. I like to have different types of warm ups. So in my R&B and hip hop warm up folder, this is more for your urban clubs where they normally play more R&B and hip hop. So if I go into here, I've got two smart crates, R&B warm up and hip hop warm up. So if I scroll down, and let's have a look at some of the tracks. You've got Post to Be, uh, AO, Show Me, Chris Brown, Loyal. All these tracks here are good R&B warm-up tracks. And if you go into hip hop in over here, scroll down, we've got Rack City, Hot Girl Summer, Blueberry Fago. You kind of get the idea. The Smart Crate 
is built up of uh, comment tags. So you can see here, I've got comment contains main R&B warm up, and then the genre is R&B. Um, so if you go, if I come over to the comments over here, all these tracks over here have main R&B warm up. Whenever I get a brand new track into my library and I feel like it's a warm up, I'll definitely add it into here. It's the exact same for hip hop warm up as well. But this is just a good way to separate out your warm up tracks. Like you might play in different venues where you might need to be a bit more R&B hip hop focused for your warm up. So you might need to make something like this. Obviously, I play in more commercial venues, so I will normally just play from the whole of this warm-up folder or I'll play in this crate down here, which I'll go through in a bit. But you might play in a venue that is more R&B focused, so you might not be able to warm up the crowd with Single Ladies Beyonce or Crazy in Love. You might need to play some deeper R&B to warm up the crowd. So it's just a good way to split up your music to make sure that you cater for the correct crowd. Now, if we come down to Club Classics, and this is probably one of my most favorite crates, um, Club Classics is pretty much tracks for everyone. Everything in here you could play and everyone in the building should know. If I open this up, I've started to split this up into sub crates as well. So what I'll do is, let me move this one up. So Club Classics, if I edit this, you can see that the comment contains Club Classics. So if I scroll over here, um, all these tracks have Club Classics. So Club Classics are tracks like Return of the Mac, uh, This Is How We Do It, Rihanna Work, In The Club 50 Cent. Them kind of commercial bait tracks will all live in here. I usually live inside this crate when I'm playing at my venues because I know if I need to get the party going and I'm not too sure about the crowd, I'll jump into here and play some bait stuff and then I'll figure out how to maneuver the crowd. So this is a good crate for you to kind of build up because it's really good for all types of crowd. And then like I said, I've started to split this down into sub crates now. So I've also got super commercial club classics. So if I go into edit over here, label is commercial club classics. So if you scroll over here, I've got a label over here, commercial club classics. So I've gone through all my club classics tracks and the ones that I feel are super commercial, I'll add this hashtag in and then it will go into this sub crate. Sometimes I might need to play for a more super commercial crowd, maybe some older people. So now I can go into this crate over here and if I scroll down, I've got tracks like Magente, um, Yeah Usher, Turn Me On Kevin Little, 24K Magic, tracks like that. This is just a good way to separate out my music so I'm not always scrolling looking for specific tracks for super commercial people. And I've also got this Club Classics crate here, 2017 plus. Like I've said in the previous video, sometimes I don't like to play, always play old school music. I like to try and play more newer music as well. So in order for me to do that, I've just created this sub crate here. So if I click edit, the comment contains Club Classics and the year is after 2017. So everything in here is a Club Classics track that everyone knows and likes, but they're more up to date. I've had so many times where someone's come up to me and say, oh, can you play more up-to-date music? So this is just a way for me to tackle that and make sure that I'm playing more up-to-date music for the crowds that might want it. So after Club Classics, I've got UK Warm Up. So UK Warm Up, I've built this crate so I can warm up with, with more UK tracks. UK tracks are being played more and more in the clubs these days, so it's always good to warm up with some UK stuff as well. Like obviously R&B hip hop is normally the main genre that most DJs warm up with, but I also like to warm up with UK stuff as well. So normally what I do in my warm up, I normally start with your R&B and hip hop, but then I'll start throwing in some UK stuff as well because the younger crowds these days are so into the UK scene. You've got the drill scene, you've got the Afro swing scene. So you need to incorporate these tracks in these days. So I know a lot of DJs just love to warm up with R&B and hip hop, but also make sure that you warm up with UK stuff as well. And then under here, I've just got another crate that I've started to build. This one I don't really use that much, but it's just very commercial warm up. So these tracks here, if you look over here, so obviously I'm ordering it by BPM. I've only got a few tracks under 110 BPM, but all these tracks here are very commercial tracks that are a lot higher tempo speed. Normally when I used to warm up, I used to start at 80 BPM and then work my way down, but the crowd wasn't moving too much. So then I've started to try and warm up with more upbeat music. So what I would do is start at like 110, work all my way up to about 130, and then half time it to 65 BPM and then work down again. This is just another way that you can warm up. Like I said, people, a lot of DJs have just a standard way of warming up. They'll just play R&B and hip hop, they'll start at 80 BPM and then they'll work their way down. Why don't you try something different and start with 110 BPM, work your way up and then change the BPM at the top and then work your way down again. A lot of DJs just like to stick with the same thing, but why not be a little bit different and try something new out? So that was the warm up. The main set crate gets a little bit more in depth and a little bit more complicated. I've made this crate called hard drill. Sometimes the crowd might want some hard drill because that's what they listen to. The smart crate for this is comment, 
contains hard drill. So if I scroll over to the right here, you can see that the comment has hard drill. So I went through all my drill tracks and if I thought the track was for a crowd that loves drill, I'll put hard drill in here. So if I scroll down, um, we've got tracks like M24, We Don't Dance, Air Force, Dig That, Low Ski, Cool Kid. All these kind of tracks here are for a specific crowd. A crowd that literally listen to drill on their Spotify playlist, they listen to it at home when they're driving. So all these tracks here, I just felt like I need to put it into a crate because like I said, I don't listen to drill in my spare time. I'm only playing it because the people in the club wants it. So to make my life easier, I've just made a hard drill crate. So whenever I need to play it, I know I can jump in here and all these tracks the crowd will like. If I come down here to commercial drill, drill is being a lot more commercialized because of TikTok and all these other apps. So artists like, RD and Central C are making drill music for a more commercial audience. So what I've also done is if I go into Smart Crate and look at this, I've got comment contains commercial drill. If I scroll over here, I've got comment commercial drill. So whenever I jump into here, all these tracks in here are for a more commercial crowd that likes drill. So you've got Keisha and Becky, Gun Lean, Body, Tion Wayne, Homerton B, Unknown T, and you've got Flowers by RD. So again, this is just a way to separate all my music so I'm not scrolling through my big, big library looking for these tracks. I've also got another smart crate here, uh, Commercial Main Set. So Commercial Main Set is every track that I've had, that I have in my main set folder, which is for um, a commercial crowd. So what I've done, if I go into the smart crate here, you can see that the, the, the rules are grouping contains commercial. So if I scroll scroll over here to group in. I've got a bunch of different tags in here. So I've got main set, bait, commercial, ladies, and mandem. Basically, every single track within inside my main set folder has this tag main set. But if I think it's a bait track, I'll add bait to it. So a track that if you drop it, every single person will know. I've also added commercial. So if it's if I need to play for a more commercial crowd, I can play this track. So the Mandem tag is literally for when I wanna create a mosh pit, I wanna get the crowd nice and hype. All these tracks within inside Mandem, the guys are gonna love and the crowd are gonna get a lot more rowdy. So you know tracks like Dior, Pop Smoke are all gonna be within inside the Mandem folder. So I've also got a girls main set folder as well, which has all your Sweetie and your Cardi B tracks, but I'll get to that in a minute. So again, commercial main set, these are all my commercial tracks. If I go into Mandem, you can see all these tracks here, they ain't 100 whipping excursion i don't like all the tracks with inside here are for the mandem so all these tracks are going to get the guys hype again whenever i'm djing I, I might play a hype song then i might want to follow it on and normally i'm in my crate scrolling 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 looking for a track but i can't find them so i made this crate here so if i play dior i can come into my mandem set and i can scroll down i'd be like you know what i can play this song next it's just all about being prepared in your music library i know every single dj in here has played a song and you're scrolling for your library looking for the next one make your life easier and make a crate for that specific scenario you've made the crowd hype now you want to jump into a crate that has all the hype songs in girls main set i've got a bunch of tracks for the girls in here so you've just got tracks by city girls lma cardi b megan the stallion all these tracks here the girls will love the problem with some djs they think that main set is just for the guys but you also need to cater for the girls as well some djs think that warm up is for the girls and then the main set is for the guys. That's not the case. You need to make sure that you're catering the girls all the way through. So what I might do is play some pop smoke and play some drill songs, but then I will also flip it back to say 65 BPM and play Bodak Yellow or play some Megan The Stallion. You gotta make sure that you cater for the girls as well as the guys. Now, these are my BPM crates here. So a lot of DJs ask me why I split my music up into BPMs and I feel like it just makes me a lot more organized. So I know that I can jump into here and every single track in here is just 50 to 70 BPM. So the reason why I've split it up into this is because I like to see how many tracks I have in here. If I feel like I don't have enough tracks, I'll start to search for more 50 to 70 BPM tracks to fill up this folder. If I just click this main set folder here, I've just got thousands of tracks in here and I'm struggle to know what's where and whatever. So if I go into this 50 to 70 one here, I know that in this folder, I've only got 179 50 to 70 BPM tracks. So I might want to update this and put a few more in there. So in 50 to 70 BPM, I've obviously got the main set folder so this is just every single 50 to 70 bpm track that i have and then i'll split it down into hip-hop and uk music sometimes when i go into 50 to 70 bpm i might start with a hip-hop track and then i might want to 
carry on with another hip hop track. So I'll go into here and I can carry on with this. Or I might start with a UK track, then I might want to carry it on with some UK. It all depends on the kind of crowd you have in front of you. If they want more UK, you can just throw them more UK tracks by jumping into this crate. Coming down to 70 to 80, 70 to 80, I have a lot more tracks in here. So if I open this up, I've got 354. So yeah, all these tracks in here are more of your, you know, up to date UK and hip hop tracks. There are some R&B tracks in here as well, but not that many. So I know if I jump into 70 to 80, it's gonna be more of a hyper main set. So if I scroll down here and look for some tracks, I've got Doja, Central C, I've got a bunch of RD tracks, OFB, Nicki Minaj, RD, Drake, all them kind of tracks. So I can scroll through here and pick any of these tracks during main set. So I've got the standard format again. So I've got main set, hip hop, and UK. If I come down to 80 to 90, it's the exact same thing. So I've just split it up into BPMs to make my, to make my life a little bit more easier and just to be a little bit more organized. So again, yep, same formula, main set, hip hop and UK. Then when I come into 90 to 100, it's the same thing. If I open up the 100 to 110 BPM crate, again, it's the same kind of thing. And 110 to 120 BPM, um, I don't really have that many tracks in here. Like if you can see here, I've only got 13. I know a lot of DJs struggle playing main set and having the tracks from 110 to 100. 20. It's the lost tempo range that a lot of DJs struggle with. Me looking at this BPM range making me think I need to go out and look for more 110 to 120 BPM tracks. So this is why I've split them up so I can look at this crate and be like, you know what? I need a few more tracks in here, so I'm gonna go search my record pools. And in your record pools, you can also filter by BPM. You can select the genre you want, so maybe hip hop, and then select the BPM range 110 to 120, then you can go and look for some tracks and download them. If you're looking for a decent record pool, check heavyhits.com. If you wanna get your first month for 4.99, use the code DJCB. If you would like a list of all these tracks, check out the link in the description, which will take you to my store, where you can purchase a list of all these tracks. Just remember, they're not MP3s, they're a CSV file with all the tracks that are included in all these crates that I've spoken about today. There are also a bunch of free ones on the site as well, so make sure you check them out before you start buying the other ones. In the next video, I'm gonna be going through my Amapiano, Afrobeats, Dancehall, and Soca crates. So if you click this video right here, it will take you straight to it. I'll catch you in the next one.